for the dead. Accept death. nightly need. are all ticking happily away. I hope you can relax now. Thank you. If I had failed to inspect the clocks and they had stopped, I don't know what I would have done. I would have felt responsible for the world coming to an end. I wouldn't have been able to keep living, not with that kind of guilt on my shoulders. I'm glad I could put your mind at ease, but remember, the end is still coming, you know. A lot sooner than you think. <sighs> That's encouraging. What can I say? It's inevitable. Yes, I do know that. But that's the reason why I care for the clock so much. I don't want to wait for the Savior to come and do all the work. Why is that? You don't trust her? No, it's not that. When the world ends, I want to be absolutely sure. I want to be 100% certain that I've finished the task that I was meant to do. No regrets, is that it? No feeling you left your job unfinished? Yes. That's exactly right. No regrets. Even if the Savior doesn't show up to save the whole of mankind, I can face the end with pride. Huh. Maybe not everyone needs to be saved by God. Maybe completing your duty is the way. The way to salvation. Yes, actually. See this supply sphere? It's property of the Order. This is not the correct place for it at all. That's strange. Do you think someone stole this from the Order's repository and left it here? Yes, exactly. And it's not the first time it's happened. Stolen supply spheres are turning up all over. 
Of course, I have a good idea who the culprits are. The children of Etro, maybe? Exactly. It really is most exasperating. Not to mention worrying. Sabotaged. It could be a bomb. Mark my words, the heretics are dangerous. Who knows how far they'll go? You do know that the easiest way to find out what's inside would be to take a look? The, uh, well, as a matter of fact, I'm waiting for someone to come and deal with it as we speak. Though seeing as you're already here, the Order would be most grateful if you helped out. What do you want me to do exactly? Check all the spheres and see what's inside? Yes, each and every one. They're locked, of course, but this passcode should open them. Use this. After you've examined them all, come and talk to me. What should I do with the contents? If you've determined that there's no danger, you can keep whatever you find inside. Will that do as compensation? Oh, just don't forget to report back to me once you're done. dangerous heretics, but we're still on Spheres were clean, every one of them. Not even a hint of anything dangerous. 
Yes, uh, actually, I just found out the same thing on my end. Apparently, the whole thing was all just a big joke. Not a very funny one. Really? Damn it, this isn't the time for pranks. You're telling me. It was a young girl named Lumina. She's usually lurking around the cathedral. She said the spheres were supposed to be a gift for whoever found them. I should have guessed. She also left behind a message. A present from me to you. Good luck saving all our souls. Like she thought the savior would find them. Why, that would make you the savior. <laughs> if you see her around, tell her thanks for the extra supplies. And that I don't believe in luck. <laughs> I'll be sure to tell her that. She likes to have a little fun sometimes, but she means no harm. She knows her boundaries. She knows when enough is enough. Really? That's hard to believe. That little devil causes trouble everywhere she goes, and everywhere she doesn't. Now, now, we all need to give her a break. After all, these are trying times, and we all need to let off a little steam sometimes. She helps us laugh a little, and lightens the mood for all of us. You look like you have troubles. Something on your mind there? Well, no, not really. Just, uh, lost in my thoughts. Thinking about an old friend. Oh? He passed away, unfortunately, a while back. I'm sorry. Oh, by the way, my name is Armand. I, uh, w would you have some time to spare? I have quite a story to tell about him. Sure. Tell me about him. He, he was a reporter. A firm believer that the pen was mightier than the sword. A do-gooder. Believed he could save people by exposing the evils and hypocrisies of society. Naive, maybe, but full of determination. Being naive's better than having no ideals at all. Agreed. At first, he was just a regular beat reporter for a local paper. His articles were mainly about the local stores and the great discounts they were offering that week. You know, little tidbits to help people out in their daily lives. As you can tell, nothing worthy of the front page. But one day, a great opportunity fell into his lap. He got assigned a big story. <laughs> You're one step ahead of me. But well, that's enough storytelling for one day. The rest will have to wait for another time. I'd be happy to share the rest of my story. I just don't quite have time right now, I'm afraid. No one can outrun me at any distance. Hey, hey, slow down. What are you doing racing around the city like that? I'll tell you, but only if you beat me, okay? The rule is simple. Keep up! Don't think you can beat me because I'm a kid. the finish line is eventually. Ready, set, go! The goal's the North Station! Got speed! Go!
Even the wicked have souls. Everything you need for the medicine. You managed to get everything on the list? That's incredible! Now give me a few minutes while I work my magic. Here you go! The greatest man-made remedy of all time. I hope this works. What am I saying? I know it'll work. Hurry on back to the poor girl so she can help her father. for you here is this really what i think it is are you absolutely sure that i can have this i said you could didn't i now go and take it to your father oh i i will thank you you know you may have just saved his life you're one of the good ones i didn't think there were many of you left i don't know what to say i just about lost faith in everyone did you tell people about your situation if they knew I tried, but no one even bothered to hear me out. And it wasn't even about the money. They just didn't want to get involved. I can't blame them for avoiding a poor girl from the Warren. I'd about given up when you came by. You were the only one who bothered to ask if anything was wrong, you know that? I guess there's still a bit of light in this city after all. Of course there is. It took a while, but you ended up getting what you needed to help your father, didn't you? Even though the world is consumed with darkness, people are still willing to help others. Have some faith. You're right. So what are you? Some kind of angel sent from the heavens or something? I know the world is ending soon and there's little time to do much else. But I pray the rest of your days are bright and full of bliss for you and your loved ones. And that's the truth.
You were gonna tell me what's going on if I won. You're gonna keep your word, aren't you? It's nothing exciting or anything like that. It's just that the whole city seems so gloomy, don't you think? Everyone's so lifeless and boring. I thought this was a good way to add a little excitement. Show people how to have fun. I won't say it was a bad idea, but weren't there other ways? Maybe, but running's about the only thing I'm really great at. Yeah, I have to admit, you're pretty fast, but not as fast as me. Well, I'm happy if I helped you get your mind off things, even for a little bit. See ya! Um... Lightning. Ha! <laughs> That's a perfect name for someone fast like you. I'll beat you next time, Lightning. You can make everyone...
the world will be safer without you. It's just a fleeting dream. Redemption is yours. Day of miracles when the saviors lie. Masters of the spy desert. Have your skills grown dull? If I want to make my dreams come true, I've got to be at least a better appraiser than my father was. I know that's what he would have wanted too. If you find any treasures in the ruins or out in the desert, please bring them to me to be appraised. Want me to appraise anything odd for you? Some great treasure you found. Good for you. Come back whenever you find any treasure. The revenge you always wanted is complete. 
I destroyed every last one of the skeletons that got your kids. You did it! You got revenge for me! Thank you! I knew you were the right person to ask! Do you feel better now? Yes. I suppose I do. But it's still not the same as having my kids back with me. That's the way revenge goes. Yeah, you're probably right. But at least it saved me from pickling myself to death. You're done grieving? I'll never stop grieving. But I feel like I can face the grief head on now. I don't want to be living in a bottle when the world ends. I'm gonna go visit their grave and tell my kids about this. I can't do much more to thank you, but at least take this. Thank you.